this is a video or demo uh, on how to sketch with watercolor. Uh, the idea, this is, it has to do with sketching rather than making a painting. So what I'm going to do is uh, work from a, uh, from a sort of like imaginary drawing. I'm not really looking at a, at a still life but this is going to be a sketch of a still life done in watercolor from from a uh, you know a pencil sketch that I am going to do now so the idea now what I'm going to do is just put a like a vase right here maybe maybe right here roughly sketched. I may have to lower it later on at any rate and maybe I might put some fruit over here maybe something like like either oranges or apples or something like that and maybe another one right here. Uh, maybe some flowers over here uh, put put a, a bottle I may put a cup or something, a container right here. I may bring this apple or fruit close to the vase. Probably it's more like like a, a glass rather than a vase because it's small compared to the to the fruit. Now I'm doing this with really uh, strong lines or graphite pencil lines and I don't care actually I like that I like the sketch sketchy effect of it this is what I call exercise to do exercise actually if a person did that almost every day um, the beginner if it's a beginner he or she is bound to to advance rather than make paintings you know make paintings to to be framed okay so these are the brushes that i'll be using this is a mop brush and this probably for and this is for line actually i learned this from sovik he cuts a, a bristle brush with a razor blade until he gets it something similar to this but he uses this for oils or acrylics I'm going to try if I need it I'll use it for watercolor but the main thing this is the the one that I'll be using most okay so my palette this is my palette. It has all kinds of colors over here, but I won't be using, pretty much I won't be using, uh, I'll be using maybe about four or five of them. I'll use cerulean blue, maybe cadmium red light, maybe alizarin crimson. This is quinacridone rose I like. And maybe this is uh, olive green and this is a green. I may use that and maybe 
maybe thalo blue and this ultramarine. So at any rate, I may use these. Uh, the olive green, I usually don't use that in oils or acrylics, but watercolor seems it's just something new I'd like to try. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, just sort of tint these flowers. So I just have a little alizarin and the say the quinacridone rose. Just sort of tint. I'll try this is the olive olive green it's it's a little gray and dark I might put a little of this green in it Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for the time being. I'll go to this uh, to the fruit. This is Elizrin. Maybe put a little red. Put a little yellow in the, in the light area. So I leave that alone for a time being. I'm going to go to the bottle. If it's a wine bottle, chances are it's, uh, you know, it's dark bottle green. I'm using Thalo Green with Elizabeth Crimson. Gonna put a little a little more red in it. I'm a add little ultramarine blue. I'm going to tint this is too much. Just for variety, I'm going to put this with cerulean. Since the flowers are, they have purple in them, I'm going to just put a little yellow over here. Just bring it almost down, pretty much down over here. Just go on this side, that's too much. I 
I'm going to go to this brush over here, see if I could uh, lower this. I don't want it to be the same height over here. I'll put a little ultramarine with this uh, in the dark side, in the bottom and the lower edge of the fruit. Strengthen this little bit over here. Maybe put a little alizarin with the olive. Go back to the to the bottle. I feel like I need something over here, some dark. I don't know what these are, if, if they are apples, I may put uh, something lucky, maybe 
something like that. I may put this stem over here later on, just let, let it dry a little bit.
So now I think maybe I'm overdoing this. Uh, so the thing to do is um, One thing I need to do is uh, get this little Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to quit. The idea behind this is to keep doing this stuff without, I mean, having in mind that this is going to be framed or anything else, it's just a sketch. And the more a person does this, whether he or she is a beginner or advanced, it definitely do, does the artist good refreshes thing because you don't have to worry about it if it works fine if it doesn't work it's not a big deal so for now i'm going to take this uh, tape out of here off it and call this a sketch and personally I love to do these watercolors sketches like that almost daily because it doesn't take too much time actually I think I overdid things a little bit uh, uh, I could have stopped maybe even 10 minutes earlier and that's it I just want to say that I, I forgot to turn on the lights actually. This is uh, what I left is the room incandescent light. Uh, that shows you <laughs> a person has to, you know, just one person video making is not really that, kind, that uh, efficient. At any rate, now I got the lights and I'll take a photo of it.